Well, hello again, YouTube solar fans. Today's a sunny day, so I'm going to do a test on these solar arrays I think some of you will find very interesting. Based on some of the comments from my first video, people saw 38 amps on my charge controllers and they assumed that these panels were wired in parallel. Um, they actually were not. They were wired in a series and parallel hybrid scheme, but the test I'm going to do today is to show you what the real difference is in terms of how much energy we extract out of these panels based on the wiring scheme. So I don't have enough adapters or connectors to involve all six panels on each array. I only have enough to involve four on uh, each array. So what I did on this panel, these four panels, each of which generates about 17, 18 volts and six amps, they are wired in series. These two on the right are not wired at all. On this panel, these two panels are in series. These two panels are in series. These are not wired at all but then these two pairs are in parallel with each other. And then finally, on this third array, the two panels on the right, including the one that's in the shadow there, uh, are not wired up at all, but these four are completely in parallel. So each panel produces, like I said, about 17 or 18 volts and about six amps. Let's see what's going through the wires. So on this array that's connected only in series, we've got about 5.6 amps, which is what you'd expect because each one of those panels generates about six amps. Um, but it will have a much higher voltage, we'll see later. This array is the hybrid combination series parallel. It's generating 12.2 amps, or it's pushing 12.2 amps through here. And then finally, for this parallel array, we should have a lot of amps going through here. We have about 22.4 amps, 22 and a half amps. So how is that affecting the energy going into the batteries. Let's go check this out. I think some of you will be surprised by this. But for the array that is in series, we have 72 and a half volts. That's what we'd expect from those four panels that are each generating 17 or 18 volts. The hybrid array series in parallel is about half that with 35 volts. And the parallel array is about 17 and a half volts. All of these are numbers you would expect. Everything that I've measured so far you'd expect. But what really matters is how much electrical energy is getting stored in the batteries. So let's see. For the series array, 28 and a half, 29 amps are getting put in the battery are coming out of the charge controller for this one that's the hybrid series parallel we see 29 amps going into the battery and for this one that's completely in parallel we see about 26.8 27 amps going into the battery so between the three of these, there is some difference, but it's not that much difference. I can go entirely in series and get 29 amps. I can go in series parallel hybrid and get 29 and a half amps. Or I can go in parallel 
and get about 27 amps. For the margins of this system, where I'm pulling in, when everything is hooked up, more than 2100 watts, and I'm only using about a thousand watts at any given moment for what I have this connected to, it doesn't matter much at all. Normally, I use the hybrid scheme. Um, I have three pairs that are in series on each panel, and then uh, those are wired in parallel. So it's 3S2P is how that would be described, three series, two parallel is how I normally do it. And actually what we see here, this produces the highest output, more than the series one. Not by much, but a little. So for those of you that were telling me I'm losing efficiency by having them in parallel, you were jumping to a conclusion. They weren't in parallel. They were in the hybrid series parallel, which in this case seems to be the best way to do it. Not much difference at all. Series are parallel for this system. Not much difference. So, there you have it.